Brian Siegel. I'm a senior biologist here at Bode Aquarium, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Teeth Neat Exhibit. That's the Wild World of Gators, Crocs, and Cayman. Um, so behind me right now, you can see on the land, we got Miss, Miss Blanche hanging out. Uh, this habitat here is over a thousand square feet of space for these animals. Uh, currently on display, we have two Cayman and one American alligator named Rose. The other Cayman's name is Dorothy on the other side of the exhibit. Um, as you can see, we're in this beautiful and outside in Florida. So it makes our job as keepers much easier to have this awesome sun, natural uh, water quality form, um, and this fresh air, which is really, really key to these guys. Uh, the biggest difference you're gonna see between Cayman and alligators really is when you look at them, their skull, their head. That's a big difference in that. Uh, in front of me right here, on the ledge, I have two artificial skulls. Um, and you can kind of see when you look at them how different they really are. Not only from the side view, but the dorsal view as well. Oop, that kind of fell off. <laughs> so the Cayman skull is much more is much more narrow compared to the alligator skull, a little more blunted. And a real big thing when you actually see them in a the wild is their teeth, how their teeth look. And a Cayman or a crocodile skull, their teeth overlap. So when their jaws close, you'll see both at the same time. Lances are mouth open right now, so kind of hard to see the comparison. But nice pearly whites though. And with an alligator, when their mouth is closed, you only can see the top, top row of teeth. So that's a good, real easy way in the wild if you've ever experienced these animals. How do you tell them apart between Cayman and alligators? It's really their teeth. The biggest thing is also size. Cayman don't get very big. They act tough, they really do, but they're not very big animals. Our Cayman here, our species, a common uh, Cayman, will maybe get five, six feet in for a male, four feet, four and a half feet for a female, or all girl rose, female alligator will get nine to 10 feet when she's all said and done. And there she is, that's Rose. When we first got Rose, she was small enough to get her delivered to Moat in a box via FedEx. She is too big for that now. She is probably pushing around six feet in length and probably 60 pounds. So she's had a beautiful growth rate the last few years. And there's Miss Dorothy getting some sun. So you can see them with their mouth closed now, you can see those teeth, the, both the bottom and top jaw lines overlap, which you would not see in alligators. Not only have those teeth, they're also covered in these bony scoot called osteoderms. Their entire back, top of their head, their sides and their belly have these big plated scales, uh, helping a number of things. One is defense, they're basically armor plated. When these animals do interact, and they do, it can be a little violent. And so those osteoderms give them protection, like a shield, like an internal shield. Other thing it does, it actually helps them generate energy. Uh, those osteoderms have blood flow going through them. So as you sun yourself right now, those little bones actually heat up with the sun Blood goes through it, and their whole body, and their whole body gets warm. Here's a close look at our alligator and our caimans practicing their target training. If you have any, any further questions, feel free to, uh, to contact me at moat.org or my own email address, Brian Siegel at moat.org. Be happy to answer any questions and thanks again for coming out. See you soon. Bye bye.